All right, Foul Tarnished, we are back with more Elden Ring here for you. And uh, we almost made it through uh, Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel last time. Again, we are here. We're trying to get the Frenzied Flame ending as fast as we can, because it's the only ending we didn't get on the last playthrough. So I'm curious to just see it and uh, and see how that goes. But uh, we, yeah, we we are... We killed Godric last episode, which is really pretty pretty cool, if I do say so myself. One episode, one Grey Rune. We'll see if we can keep that pace up so far. Uh, the plan is to get this Bell Bearing, level up our Uchi Katana as far as, we can, as far as it can go, which actually right now, if we have all the souls that we need and that Bell Bearing, will be plus seven, because we do have two Smithing Threes on top of everything, right? So that will be nice and cool, yo. Uh, and then go to Caria Manor, talk to Rani, start her quest line, go kill Radon, uh, get down to Nokron, right? And then from there, uh, get the Occult Wet Blades. And I can't imagine we're going to be able to do much more than that. Like, if we if we get all of the things that I just listed there done in this episode, that's a, that's a pretty big dub, if I do say so myself. All right, because to kill Radon, we have to go... Um, we have to go down, we have to, so we, we're going to have to, so the, the exact order of operations, I believe, for what we want to do right now, is, oh man, get this bell bearing, right? Go to Karia Manor, get to the end of Karia Manor, go to the two sisters, or the three sisters, whatever the hell, talk to Rani, um, start her quest line, talk to Blade, Blade will meet us in Ainsel, uh, or in, in Shifra, right? Talk to talk to him there, he's like, oh, I don't know, does, I, I see an Okron right above me, but it doesn't make any fucking sense, I can't get up there. Uh, and, and then, he's, just, he's not quite that accented. Also, that's more like, he's kind of Welsh, it's, anyway. Um, but the, the point is, we'll, we'll do that, right? And then we go talk to Selvus, Selvus tells, tell, tells us we have to go kill Radon. From there, we go kill Radon, right? Let's uh, try not to die to fall damage again here, because that was tragic last time. But yeah, from there, we go kill Radon. And then uh, we we go down to Nokron and get the the wet the wet blade right. So there's a lot there's a lot to do, in uh, in that sense. So that's a uh, we'll see if we can if we can fit all of that into an hour. But I think so. If we don't like spend too much time dying in like lots of these sort of disparate places, it shouldn't be that bad. Somber Stone One. Here is our fight with Zika Stallion. Uh, probably a good idea to get the uh, the physic at some point too. We, we might stop by at some point and do that. This guy shouldn't be too bad, right? Just, we just have to break his poise, and then he turns into uh, a paper mache doll. He's gonna take no damage basically until we do that, though. And I guess it is it is Lyrnia, right? So again, we right now we're fighting this guy with a plus zero weapon. We're uh, we're we're definitely a little bit uh, understated for him. Let's well, just he sure does hit kind of hard too, actually uh, a little bit more than I would have expected to be completely honest with you. Bonk, bonk, bonk! Please get your poise broken, good sir. I guess this will be a pretty good way to do that. Yup, wonderful. Love me some Ash 4. Yeah, now okay, now he's taking some uh, some really big damage, right? Wah. Oh, yeah, he has no poise now anymore. Yeah, we can just chain R1 stagger him. I forgot about that part. Yeah, okay, this guy is really not very threatening, right? Yeah, okay. I, I, I got a little bit worried when I saw how much damage he was doing to us, and like, yeah, he, he just, once once you, uh, he can't bleed, so that's good for him. But yeah, once you actually uh, get this guy's poise broken, he's not really even an enemy anymore. We'll wait this out, that's fine. Jumping R2. Stagger him out of his whole shebang there, and he's dead. Cool. There is our smithing one bell bearing down. Um, let us very quickly... Where is... I would like, if possible... It's uh, somewhere around... Oh, man. It's somewhere like here, right? Somewhere here is where the uh, mausoleum is. I'd like to duplicate uh, the Remembrance. Godric's Remembrance. Oh god, mausoleum. Cause that's another three twenty thousand walking mausoleum, yes, exactly. Um wandering mausoleum locations. Weeping peninsula. Oh, is one of the weeping peninsula? Okay, okay. North east of the ruin labyrinth grace or due south of the mausoleum compound grace. Uh it in the waters in front of Ray Lucario Crystal Tunnel. Yeah, how do I do this? You must travel west of the tunnel entrance, and you need to use the spirit spring to jump onto the mausoleum when it walks close enough to the cliff wall. Oh, so you do jump. Okay, okay, this is this is a good one. It has a bell, yeah, so this one can duplicate Demigod Remembrance. Uh, they need to use a Spirit Spring to jump onto the mausoleum. Let's let's do that, actually. Let us let us do that. Because uh, I want the, that extra 20,000 runes from this. So that'll help us buy all of our smithing stones and like also have the money to upgrade our Uchi. And then we can go from there. So let's backtrack here and head up to where that mausoleum is. Should only be like a couple minutes detour here, so it shouldn't be that bad. And again, the, the money that it gives us will be very useful. Okay, so there's a spirit spring here. Say travel west to the tunnel entrance. Use the spirit spring to jump on the mausoleum when he gets too close to the cliffs. Um, 
Where does it say the Spirit Spring is exactly? In the water text, you must travel west of the tunnel entrance. Okay, yeah, so... This was the tunnel entrance. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything on the way already, is why I'm backtracking here. So, that's tunnel entrance. We travel west of the tunnel entrance. And then use the Spirit Spring to jump onto the mausoleum when it walks too close to the cliffs. West of the tunnel entrance. Any spirit? Oh, okay, okay, this one. Yes, okay, sure. So when he gets too close to the cliffs here, we jump on his ass. Spirit spring jumping, I'm, I'm well aware. So, like, how, how, how close are we talking? This is a re- Ooh, okay, okay, so yeah. We can't do it quite yet. So with double jump, we can get a little bit more distance. Now, now, okay, now he's coming towards the cliffs. Let's do exactly that. Taking another step towards it? I think so. Maybe? Oh! Oh, it's- no, it's not close enough. He's taking another step forward, isn't he? Is he walking away? No, he's taking another step forward. That's perfect. Okay, because we were, we were just barely out of reach there. Yes? Hello, sir? Let me clean you! I think this does it. Oh, man! Close, but yes. Wonderful. Alright, now we get the death off of all of him. All that. You know how it would be. Let's try not to fall off of him here, so that's why I hopped off a torrent. Just a little bit more control, never hurt nobody. Wonderful. Excuse me, sir. Just doing doing some 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 barnacle cleaning for you right now. Like those little uh, the little the little sharks or little fish that stick onto the sharks, right? And clean their body for them. It's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, I think he's coming down. Indeed he is. Wonderful. Stay on target. Yup. And where is the door? It is not here. It is here. Oh, wonderful. Cool. 20,000 runes. Nice and easy there. That should give us more than enough souls to buy all the smithing stones we need and also to fully smith up the Uchida plus seven, which will be some a nice little power bump for us there. Let's crunch on him one more. I guess we can sell them at, uh, at Hugh. Actually, it'll be faster. So let's go do that. We'll hand the, the Twin Maiden Husks the bell bearing afterwards, too. New items can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husks, indeed. Actually, I guess, yeah. Since we're not going to Hugh right away, let's do this first here. And then go talk to said Twin Maiden Husks. Gideon still not opening his doors to us. That is fine, I suppose. Even though I have a great rune, apparently I'm just not worth it. Uh, and I have to offer a bell bearing. There you go. I guess I'll offer Gostox, too, even though I, I doubt I care. Uh, bell bearing shop, too. Yeah, no, I, I, I was I was correct to doubt uh, that I care. Okay, purchase. So I have six of these, which means I need six more. And I have uh, two seven of those, which means I need five more. Wonderful. Uh, we have a stone sword key. Let's not buy another one. We don't need it. Cool. So now we should be able to get with 20,000 runes left over. That should be more than enough to get the Uchi up to plus seven. Which should put us in uh, Radon killing territory rather easily. I, I do I do the Clea. There's Rodrico. We never talked to her though, so she's not in her. Uh, I guess she's yeah she's just. Oh. Yeah yeah indeed. Uh, sell. There you go. Give me all of these runes. Get this thing up to plus seven, please. There you go. Wonderful. Cool. The second smithing stone uh, bell bearing is in Altus, so we won't be there for a little bit. Uh, let's level up. For Radon. Arcane's not going to help us at all. Let's get a little bit more endurance, or ooh, level ups are getting expensive already, huh? Let's get a little bit more vigor, and then two levels of arcane. At the end of the day, eventually arcane is going to be our our primary stat. So let's just let's just invest uh, with confidence there. Okay, carry a manor. We want to go up from here, right? We have to go all the way over to uh, the western cliffside there. So that's nice and easy. It's going to take a little bit of time, probably. That's about it. There's a spirit spring here that helps you get up to this place, if I remember correctly. I thought so. Yes, perfect. We have to do. We don't have to go through the whole weird uh, parkour nonsense that I went through on my first playthrough. Wah. And then yeah, it's all the way over there. So it's uh, it's a bit of a run, but we will make that run. There's an ever jail behind us there, but we have no interest in it. We just have to. We just have to go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go through all the way through. Carry a manor. Talk to Randy. We probably don't need this, by the way, to like activate Radon. Uh, this is probably slightly inefficient, but it is the, it is the, 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 the best way that I know to, like, very quickly get the Radon Festival going is to talk to, uh, to Bloody there and then talk to Celibus, right? Otherwise, when you show up at Radon, it's, um, 
it's the Crucible and Misbegotten. And, uh, and, and like, when you get to, when you go talk to Jaren, he's like, oh, yeah, there'll be a festival here eventually, come back later. I don't know what, what is, what it is with all, like, my accents for these characters. They're all, like, very inaccurate and, like, honestly a little insulting, but it's, uh, it's fine, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay, we have to continue along this cliffside, but we seem to have hit a, uh, a bit of an impasse. Do we have to go up through the Albanuric village? Maybe, maybe. I mean, the Albanuric village is, uh, is nearby here. Getting lost is definitely our biggest uh, our biggest enemy in terms of trying to do this quickly, right? Getting lost will be uh, a potential problem there. So, let's see. There is the Albanuric village this way. I can't go back up there. I guess we will go up into uh, the Albanuric village and see what awaits us. Disgusting little fetid swamp, as always. Or is it is it further on this way? Like, do we not go up the little? Because uh, I don't I don't remember the Albanuric village leading to anything, right? So maybe we just we just sally forth this way. Possibly, possibly. Stupid crab. Uh, yeah, I think so. I I am a little uh, non-confident in my uh, memory, in my ability to navigate Lyernia from memory. I'm not gonna lie to you. Giant, giant enemy crab. Hit the weak spot for massive damage. That's fine. Maybe? Maybe we do have to go up to the Albanurix. No, 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 no. This, this, this leads up somewhere. Doesn't it? I have a vague memory of, like, the Albanurix village being a dead end, basically. This leads to itself. Yeah, I think I'm right. Maybe? That nah, leads to an Erd tree, man. Hmm. How did we get to EG? Because EG is uh, is the path right before Caria uh, uh, Manor, right? There must be there must be a slope that leads up to uh, that leads up to there somehow. There's the academy. There, there. Okay, so there, there is a way that leads us back up onto the cliffs there. Yeah, that. I mean, that's not where Caria Manor is either, though. Yes, yeah, so it's not like we that we care about that too much. Yes, yeah, so let's let's stay high if we can. No, I guess this, no, that's just, that, again, that Erd Tree, uh, it's just going to lead into the Erd Tree avatar, and then past that will be nothing, right? Can I sneak around him? Is that even a thing you, you can do with these guys? Yes! Ah, cool. Oh, but yeah, there's, there's no, like, further path here, right? It's just a cliff? Yes, okay, okay. Oh, uh, mmm, mmm, torrent, land on that, thank you. Uh, we're in danger. We can try and jank our way down here to not die. Amazing. Jank our way down here to not die. I don't think it's lethal already. I think we're, I think we did it. Oh, okay, wonderful. The jank uh, serves us well, as always. Yeah, getting getting lost is the uh, the the true mind killer here. Oh man. Okay, that's the academy. There's the three sisters, which is our that they're on the or the four belfries rather. That's on the the way. So yeah, okay. I think I think I think we are. We just keep going, and then these cliffs will take us off. And Caria Manor's over there. I think I think we're I think we're on the right path. EG EG should be uh, somewhere there too, if I remember correctly. I mean, once we find Rani, this goes quick, right? We go talk to to Bloody in uh, in in Ainsel, or in uh, Shifra rather. All right, then we go talk to Selvis right back where we already were, and then we just have to go to we have to have to go to Kaled, which I guess the quickest way to get to Kaled is probably actually through the chest that teleports you, which I forget where that is. Uh, teleports you to Celia Crystal Tunnel, which puts you like, kind of smack dab in the middle of Kaled, if I remember correctly. That uh, that might be our our best path forward. Let's get this grace while we're here, just to have more waypoints on the map. Cool. Get going. Go on, son. Get. I oh, I don't know why I'm checking my map. There's nothing on my map. Uh, I got I I ain't got no map. The four again. I remember the four belfries being like very much on on the way, right? To EG to uh, Caria Manor. Hmm. Hello, giant spectral troll knight. Don't mind me. Just you know, doing things that you probably would disapprove of, like going to attack your your former mansion. I mean, it's not your mansion, but you know, a place that you possibly may have been uh, oath sworn to serve. Hello there. The four belfries, indeed. Oh wait, no, this this doesn't lead out to somewhere, though, does it? 
Maybe we had to go down where that encampment was after all. That doesn't really lead to anywhere either. Am I confusing myself? It's very possible. Okay, okay. Uh, I might, I might, we might go on a quick little, uh, little, little V look up here like it's an Excel table. Yeah, this is the path to Karia Manor. And that is actually accessible from the water down there. Interesting. Let's, let's, uh, let's go down there then. This is going to kill me? No. Wonderful. I was a little worried, to be honest with you. The fall always, uh, it looks, it looks smaller than I think it does, and then I actually start falling, and I'm like, oh god, oh no. There's no spirit spring to jump down onto or anything here, is there? No, unfortunate. But yeah, we just, we just have to get down to, to ground level here, and then just follow the water in the northeast, roughly, direction. And then we'll be good to go. We're almost, I guess we just hugged this cliff the same way we went, right? Oh, uh, it is, it is a long way back, though, I tell you what. Yeah. Unfortunate. A little bit, oh, okay, so a little bit of silly billy for me. I thought we had to stay on the cliff the whole way. We could try hopping down there, but we're just, we're just gonna die if we mess it up. So let's just take a little bit of extra time and go all the way down there, and then we'll just run across the cliffs as as we came from them. Excuse me, Torrent. Um, this is still lethal. I th ah, no, this isn't lethal. Especially not landing on this rock. There you go. Cool. Okay, now we just hug the cliff all the way, and then we'll see the, the path to carry a manor stretch out in front of us. Hopefully. Hello, Mr. Dead Lobster. I mean, by dead, he's, he's sleeping. I wish he was dead, because these things are horrifying. But he is just sleeping, unfortunately, for me. For mich, as the kids say. The, in Frankfurt, or something. I've uh, never been to Germany, actually. I, I, went to, I went to Europe for some amount of time, uh, when I was a bit younger. Because uh, a family member was over there. They were, like, doing an, an, inter an internship there, or something like that, for, uh, for like, their school. So I just went to go visit them, right? It was a good time. I, they were in, uh, oh god. We went, we went to like, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, France. Well, only to be fair, to be fair. Uh, like, let's, let me not, because we weren't there. We weren't in each place for very long, right? So we only kind of went to, like, we went, you know, we went to, like, Antwerp. We went to, uh, The Hague in the Netherlands, which is a weird place to go. But, but you know, we, they wanted to see the, the goddamn, you know, that place. With all the, uh, the court, right? The court. Um, we went to, like, Paris for a little bit. We went to Rome for a bit, but I never went to, I never went to Berlin. Or, or, like, just anywhere in Germany, to be honest with you. Uh, interesting place, I'm sure. I, I did... I, I'm, I'm not losing my mind, right? Yeah, we're, we're still... Is this the path that I saw earlier that I, was supposed to, that I was supposed to go up to? Or have I been talking about... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I, I've not been talking about Germany for long enough to lose my mind. I think, I think we're going the right way now. Um, I, I used to speak some German back in the day. Uh, back in, by back in the day, I mean, like, oh, oh man. Uh, at this point, what would be, I suppose... Closing on like 15 years ago, right? Uh, I, I, I would have considered myself rather fluent at uh, German because it was one of the things I learned. Uh, the school that I went to, you could pick to learn uh, either French or German as like a like a tertiary language, right? So I speak Arabic and English, and you could pick to, you could choose to learn uh, French or German. And I, I picked German because I was like, I'll never need to I'll never need to, to learn like French. You know, French is is lame. I don't need to know French, and then I ended up. Uh, moving to Canada, <laughs> right? So you know that that those those things uh, work out how they do, but you know you can't always you can't always know what's going to happen. You can't really know what's going to happen in your life ahead of time, right? There's Ichi, by the way, which is great. That means we're on the correct path to carry a manor. We're just, you know we're filling time as we're going here. It's a lot. It's a lot of riding around on torrent. Um, yeah, so I learned uh, I learned German for like the first, and I was obviously I was a kid, right? I learned it in school, but I I learned it for like several years when I was a kid. Uh, and kids are just, you know, you're, you soak up languages uh, like a sponge, I mean, information in general, but like, uh, kids are especially good at like, very flexible at learning language. Uh, so I, I, I would have considered myself, like, I don't think anyone would have confused me for like a native speaker by any stretch of the imagination, right? I think I would have been like, pretty able to like, survive in Germany, talk to people, like get around. I would have been like, 10 again, so they would have been like, hey, what's, you know, what's this kid doing here? Uh, but at this point though, ooh, it's like all gone, man. There, there ain't, there ain't, like, very little bit is, uh, is left. Because when I did move over here, uh, I obviously didn't really, wasn't learning German anymore and didn't really speak German to anyone either. It's not like, you know, anyone in my family speaks it or anything like that. Um, so that was, that was doomed at that point. But yeah, still, you know, it would have been interesting uh, to, I mean, it, it, I could still at some point, I suppose. But yeah, it would have been interesting to like, go, go see what's up with Germany. See uh, how, how little of my German I truly remember as I try to uh, desperately make my way around. It is kind of, it's kind of a cheat code though, right? Just like speaking English in general. Like, uh, English, I think, is the only language, maybe, like, maybe, uh, Mandarin, uh, will become that in, like, a f in, in, over some time as, you know, the sort of the soft power of that, that nation keeps, uh, expanding. But, like, 
English, so far, I feel like is the only language in the world where you can speak English, go to a country that doesn't speak English, and have people apologize to you for not speaking your language, right? Like, you can, you can go to a place where the primary language is, um... But let's uh, let, let me just use my my own culture as an example here, right? You can go to a place where people like speak Arabic predominantly, right? And first off, a lot of them will just like speak English. It has almost become like it's almost like the world language in in some ways. Now, you know, obviously the the reasons behind that are dubious and yeah, whatever. But uh, the the result is that um, it, it, almost everyone will speak a little bit of English anyway, right? At least like you know, hello, thank you, goodbye, yes, no, something like that. Um, and also, people will be like, sometimes they'll be like, man, sorry, I don't speak it. Like, they'll be like, you know, they'll apologize for not being able to communicate with you in English, even though you're in their country. And, uh, you know, you're, you're the one who can't speak their language. And they're, like, apologizing for not being able to communicate with you, right, in English, even though you're in, like, uh, Jordan or something. Which is, it's very interesting. So English is kind of a cheat code in terms of, like, you don't really need to, like, learn a lot of languages to, like, get... You can serve. You can probably survive in a lot of places in the world. Uh, it's gonna come come in and try to hit me, right? Yeah. You can, you can probably survive in a lot of places in the world, like, just speaking English, to be honest with you. you well, you're not gonna make any friends. You know, you're not gonna... But, like, you could, you could at least, like, probably go to the grocery store and, like, buy the things you need to survive, right? Just by going, like... Like, pointing at things and, like, ma like saying random one-word phrases in English that, like, sort of get your point across. I think you. I think you'd be surprised how well that would uh, that would go down. This is the right way, by the way. Am I going completely like off the rails here? I don't think so, right? This is roughly the way to Loretta, I think. This is all. I'm all. I'm kind of going off uh, off a of memory here from the last play. It hasn't been that long, but it's been you know. I mean, it's probably been a good uh, thirty days or something for me since we've since we were at Liernia here exploring Caria Manor, stuff like that. Long enough that the, the memory strains a little bit, right? But I think we're going in vaguely the right direction here. Manor upper level? That sounds right. That sounds like we're going roughly the right way, no? Yeah, yeah, I remember this. There's a golden seed tree here. We can finally get this thing that the game has just been showing to me every single time. Let's sneak real quick, so I'd rather not have this wolf pursuing me. Wonderful. Well, uh, I guess, you know, one out of two ain't bad. That's, that's, that's on me, I suppose. Should have been sneaking earlier. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, let's go... This way, I believe it is. Yeah, I remember, I remember this place. Yeah, this is this is the pathway to Loretta. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Excuse me, good sir. Yeah, excuse me, good sir. Excuse me, good sir. Get curved, idiot. Uh, we left my stamina regen for a second here while I have the chance. Then we're gonna go again. These pages can be a little bit threatening, so let's be careful with them. Loretta's gonna hit us pretty hard, also, but we do have a little bit more health. The the most important thing is we're gonna hit her like relatively hard, also. Is the the hope there? Because now now with our our plus seven Uchi, let's uh, let's heal up. This is not going to be a war of attrition. We just want to make sure we don't get one shot, basically. Right? That's good damage. Yeah. That's I would I would call that good damage. Oh, I would call that good damage. Yeah. All right. We can we can we can we can win this for sure. This is not like a, an unwinnable fight. Like we're not under leveled for this fight or anything. At least, at least maybe our maybe our like our health and our defense like ever so slightly, but definitely not our uh, ability to hurt Loretta at least. Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit problematic. Sure. You're just you see you're just like a modified tree sentinel. It's all fine by me. Yep. Uh huh. Wonk. See, all that time we spent fighting the tree sentinel in the first episode, you guys were like, you know, you guys think like this guy's an idiot. Why is he wasting all this time? Look, all that all that muscle memory is now helping us fight Loretta a lot easier. And you all doubted me. Shoot your little slicers at me, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Nice. Nice whip, idiot. Oh, okay. That could have killed me for sure. A lot of different things hit me at once there. It's fine, I suppose. Rolling R1 is pretty good on this thing. Okay, she respawns the, the knives there, yeah, and jumps back again. She does seem to like doing that. You can't uh, bleed, I assume, because you're a ghost. So I'm just not even really thinking about that very much. You, you even have blood. You can, however, stagger, which is great news. I'm going to charge R2 you because I don't have my Ash of War. So that's the, the single highest uh, damage attack I can use there to take advantage of you being... taking extra damage in that staggered position, right? Oh, they don't all go at once, huh? I didn't roll that. I thought I did, you know? I really thought I rolled that. I guess I didn't. Uh, it's not going to be a true combo, right? I just didn't hit the, the roll button when I thought I did. That's that's my bad. Maybe I hit it a little bit too early. It didn't buffer properly. Hard to say. Hard to say. But that's, I mean, that's a very good proof of concept there. Very solid first fight against Loretta. Again, we really should go pick up... Uh, once we talk to Rainy, when we're kind of on our way to uh, Shifra, we should probably pick up the uh, the Physic Flask, right? Which I, I forget exactly where it is, to be completely honest with you. It's both an attack and a summon in one there. Wah. Of course, it's gonna do the stomping. Okay, stomping. 
Yep. Oh, nice. This we could die. Oh, this is not an Estus. Yeah, that's the that's the wrong Estus. A little bit of a sillier way to die there that time for sure. I just had my blue Estus out and not my red Estus. I would have gotten hit either way, but I, but you saw the Estus went off. Right? I would have healed and uh, and lived that. But no such luck. Hey, it's fine. At least honestly, uh, a, a run like that where it just dies immediately is uh, is less time wasted, right? We'll have about, assuming we kill Loretta in the next attempt or two, we'll have about 30 minutes, give or take, to go kill Radon and keep up our episode of uh, one episode, one great rune here. Our streak, rather, of one episode, one great rune. We'll see how that goes. It's going to be a little bit of a tight schedule, I think. But we'll see. We have some housekeeping things to do, basically, before we get to Radon. That's the main reason so that might be a little bit challenging. Nice swing, Loretta. Plus one Estus, doing some work for sure, though. Healing us up more than might otherwise have been the case. Just gonna whiff like a fool. He's gonna get hit all, like, pretty hard by that right there too. Again, not a war of attrition. I'll use my other Estus here. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. Okay, this kind of sucks. Yep, yeah, yeah. Kind of hard to gotta make sure to respect the uh, the slicers there a bit more than I currently am. Cool, cool. Get one of those in your face. Nice. Oh no. This could be bad. No, it's not. Okay, cool. I thought I thought that backswing could have uh, could have still reached me from where I was essencing, but it's not. wasn't quite the, the right angle for Loretta there, fortunately for me. Okay, half health on her is pretty good. That's her going to phase two, I suppose. Magical, magically shielding up. I gotta respect uh, these slicers. I want I want to rush and just like hit her when they're up, but realistically, it's gonna add more time to our attempts here. If I try to disrespect them, it's not gonna you know slow uh, slow is smooth and smooth is fast, as the kids say. Pretty sure the kids say that anyway. Okay, cool. Horse gonna do stomping. That's how it goes sometimes. It's gonna hit me. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it will, actually. But not in the timing that I thought it would. That's fine. Plus one Estus, going kind of hard. Let's, yep, let's get away from that bow. You have a good idea of the timing at which she does that. Uh, I'd like to Cerulean if I can. That was a bad idea. Okay, at least we're not gonna die for it right away. A little greedy, though. Did cause us some trouble in the grand scheme of things. This is an attack and the summoning of the slicers at once. Again, respect the slicers. You know, it's gonna uh, cost us more time to disrespect them, even though it feels like it's faster, like we're rushing. Bonk. Oh, he's dead in one more Ash War. This is good news. That means I can do this. Wonderful. Okay, so we, we have, uh, we'll talk to Randy real quick. We have about 30 minutes to go kill Radon. I think it's doable. I think we can keep up our uh, our streak of one episode one. Oh, we have to fight Adula, though, don't we? Uh, yeah, forgot about that part. This is Randy's Rise, isn't it? Is this one right here? I could have sworn. Or is this Rena's Rise? Am I mixing them up? Here's... Oh. No? Yeah, Adula hasn't tried to kill me yet. So I don't think it is. I think this is uh, Rena's, the one that's always sealed off. Yes, no, maybe so? Are you gonna tell me, game? Yes, okay, okay. So, let's hop... Oh, yeah, right. I mean, you can see Adula. So that tells you which one is, uh, is correct. Never mind. Yeah, Adula is in front of Rani's Rise there. Uh, hmm, you know, you know, now that I think about it, I have a, I have a strong urge to uh, return to that Loretta arena real quick. I was like, ah, let's just go fight Adula. Uh, let's just, it's, it's right here. Let's just, very quickly, there's a grace that spawns when you kill Loretta. Let's just sit at that real fast, like. Again, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. That's the, uh, the way of the jungle there. Uh, I guess we'll get a little bit... Honestly, like, our, our flasks aren't overhealing us right now, so figure it doesn't matter that much. I guess we'll get, like, a little bit more arcane. Why not? All right. At the end of the day right now, Vigor is just the extra 50 health or something. It's not, like, when, when your flasks are overhealing you, it's a lot more valuable to get a point of Vigor. Because then Vigor gives you uh, the extra health when your health is full and more extra health every single time you heal also. If you're, like, wasting overheals on a flask, right, then you're, you're leaving a lot of effective max HP on the table. We aren't right now. Our plus one flasks are not fully healing us. Now we very well could get them to. But right now we're still, we're sticking with plus ones. Hello, Adula. Uh, on the bright side, I just have to hit you a little bit here and then you'll run away. So, shouldn't take too long to convince you. Have you see things my way? Fail swipe coming in. Yup. Little jump R2 on your head there. Your head top, as the kids say. Uh, this is bad. Hmm. We're dead? Oh my, okay, but you see, in a case like that, if we had one less point of vigor, we die there, right? So that's, uh, that was actually very useful. I can't really talk too much about, uh, like that's not, that's not, it doesn't matter that we're not overhealing there. Oh, that, yeah, probably again, one point of vigor does save us there. We're talking about one shots, 
when you talk about one shots, it's really it's really showing itself just over and over, huh? Uh, you run this way, yes. But they shoot they shoot the, the fire the other way. Uh, I guess I'm full healing here because one shots are a thing. Yeah, we're talking about one shots, right? The difference between getting one shot or not. Suddenly, vigor does matter a lot more. Uh, this is I know this move. Yeah, this move is horrifying. I wow, couldn't even, couldn't even avoid it behind the wall. Uh, this is very dank, fighting her in like these weird uh, caves. What's she doing? What's she doing now? Running, hopefully? Uh, nope, killing the fauna, though, for sure. Okay, yeah, that is still her moves are very dank right now. She doesn't know where she's looking. She doesn't know where she's aiming at. There you go. Thank you, Adula. Uh, it was a little scarier than I wanted it to be, but it works out. Again, fighting her on that cliff made things a lot janker than I otherwise would have uh, would have liked. Oh no, she's not gone, she just despawned. That's horrible news. I thought we like killed her enough for her to run away. No, she's still very much here. Okay, wait, Torrent? Oh, you're so clutch, Torrent. Okay. Hopefully now we can just do enough damage to her to get her to run away. Not quite. Oh, not quite! And I was in the recovery of the unsheathed there. Oh, this is this is bad, this is bad. It's bad for our time. We, we gotta try and keep up one... Uh, I mean, this, this will be, uh, if I knew a quicker way to activate Radon, this would this will be where that uh, comes in very handy, right? But unfortunately, I'm, I'm possibly, I mean, I, I'm probably, I'm just working, it's not possibly, I am working on, like, incorrect information, in the sense, like, I don't know, oh, it's not that way, it's this way. I don't know what the fastest way to get the Radon Festival going is. This is the way that I know works, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. But, uh, but we shall see. What? All right, Adula, fine, let's do this again. I, I was being a little bit, uh, I got hit by a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have gotten hit by, for sure. We can certainly, I, I could have sworn Adula runs away at, at like, like before 50% health here, which is what it seems like it's going to take this time, right? It's 50% health. She does not seem very uh, excited to run away from us. This is bad. Oh, this is stomping. Okay, it's not that bad. Yep. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Okay, a little bit of this. Head. Sure. So no head, Adula. Uh, this is also very bad. I don't know if I can avoid this. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid that, to be honest with you. I guess Torrent, probably, is, uh, is part of, a big part of the answer there. Okay, so let's just try not to get blown up by too much stuff on the way. Oh, this move sucks, man. No, 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 no. I hate this. Mm-hmm. Tried to use a little bit of the iframes getting off Torrent there, but I don't think I actually get very many of those unless I do the standing get off, right? Okay, that, that little Kamehameha. That she's out there, that is uh, that is the most threatening thing she can do for sure. Okay, go this way. That's the way that she shoots the opposite of the way that she needs to fire. Try to catch up to her. Punish her on the way down. Once again, though, we got this weird, yeah, I just don't like this. Like this weird, like, jank fighting her on the ruins here is just not even close to what I would refer to as ideal. I'm honestly rather she takes the skies here. I'm gonna get stomped on. Ooh, no. Nice. Rolled out at the very last second. A bleed proc on her would go hard. I know we can't. She can bleed. She's a you know flesh and blood dragon. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? You're gonna do stomping? Yeah, it's fine. Stomping. One, two, three, four, five. Any bleed procers, dude? Please. Oh, that still hits. Fair enough. I don't see. He steps forward there, so I thought I'll be fine. Just like completely disrespect that and not roll. This sounds bad. What's he doing? Oh. Cool. Killing everything that isn't me. That's good to know. Uh, one of these. Let's go on, he's just half health. You run, right? Yes. Okay, that is actually her running away. Good. God damn, Adula. Please. You're killing me here. Wasting all this time? Alright, alright. Uh, this is Randy's Rise. Let's get our bloodstain real quick, like. Alright, cool. Very cool. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get the grace here, though. It just makes it a lot quicker to come back to Rani if we need to. I don't think we will need to. I guess it'll make us it'll make it quicker to come back to, to Selvis when we need to ask him about uh, Nakron. We can use our horse indoors here. It just feels funny, you know? Okay. Apparently, Torrent is not heavy enough to... Uh, I guess he's a spectral steed? Is he? But, I mean, he clearly, like, affects the world around him, right? Maybe not. I, I guess... Yeah, Torrent never, like, pushes anything or anything like that. I mean, maybe he is, like... Weirdly incorporeal. That's a bad idea. It's a good thing we got the grace. Oh, we're alive. Never mind. Uh, yeah, mm. Man, now we gotta wait for the elevator to come back and shit. Oh, God. Why did I do it, man? Why did I, why did I do it? Someone, someone explain to me my, uh, my folly. I guess, you know what? Good thing we got the grace. Yeah, we gotta wait to, for the elevator to come back. 
I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm too excited. I just want to, I just want to move as fast as I possibly can at all times. And you know what? I was talking about uh, slow, smooth, smooth is fast. We are, we, we weren't uh, going smooth, so we did not go very fast either. Gotta wait for this elevator to come back down again now. Okay, so let's see. We have to go after this. We're gonna have to go talk to Blythe in uh, Shifra, right? And then we're gonna have to go talk to Solvis, and then we get to fight Radon. How long do we think it takes to get to Shifra and get this, uh, and get all the way down there, talk to him? We might have like 10 minutes to fight Radon, but I think we could possibly do it. Hello, Rani. Yes, yes, I know. You never invited me. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah, I'll enter into your service. I don't see why not. Doesn't block me off from getting the frenzied flame ending, so it's fine by me. Yep, yep. Live, go to Nakron. I feel you. I see you. I, I totally, I 100% feel you and see, and see you and hear you, milady. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, we will head down there and talk to them then, I assume. Yes. And then Blythe will be like, I'm waiting in Nukron. Wait, no, I'm waiting in Shifra Riverwell. He's not Scottish. Again, I, I really don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I can't, I can't, his accent is actually kind of nice and like, you know, smooth sounding. And I, I just can't do it. So I'm going to pretend to do something else. Goodbye, Eiji. I love you, but like, goodbye. All right, hello, Wolfman. Name's blood. Glad to have you yes, indeed. I'm situated in the eternal city of I'm planning to go below. See if I the well in the Mistwood, see if I can't find Nokron from there. Yeah, okay, okay, good. So this is that's the end of his dialogue? Yeah, okay, sure. So now we have to go to the Mistwood in Limgrave, which is roughly over here, I think. Oh, we can't teleport out from here, huh? Uh let us exit then. The gate front ruins there is probably our quickest way over. I hate you, Solvus. I'll talk to you only as much as is entirely strictly necessary. Still can't TP out, huh? What? Huh? Do I have to talk to everyone before they let me out? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, I really don't care, Solvus, at all. Why am I stuck here, though, is what I do care about. Do I have to rest at the Grace? Possibly? Is that gonna... Really? Me? No, E.G. is still here. Uh, hi, E.G. Oh, yes, no, I I, uh, I know about you. You're awesome. Let together. Yes, cool. Uh, now if I rest at the Grace, they all go away. So I'm, like, stuck here. Yes. Wonderful. Great. Okay, yeah, uh, Gatefront Ruins, I think, is gonna be our closest path to the Mistwood. I think it's roughly, it's like roughly over here, right? So let's go do that. And just head straight east. Well, slightly southeast. Hop on our mighty steed. Excuse me. My mighty steed. Okay, there you go. My my mighty steed was asleep at the wheel for a second there, but it's fine. It works out. And just head, I guess, straight southeast until we get to the Mistwood. Head down to Shifra. Talk to Bloody. Talk to Celibus. And then head to Kaled to go kill Radon. And uh, the rest is history or something. 20, call 25 minutes roughly that we have for all of this. It might be tough, maybe a little bit tough. We shall see though. It is roughly this way, the Mistwood, yes? I feel like I remember that. There's the bridge that has the Knight's Cav on it sometimes, but now it just has the little bandit on it because it is not Knight. Lots of graces that I'm skipping by here for sure, but you know, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fine. I see, uh, I see no way this could go wrong. Certainly not. Yeah, like, it, it's it's by an Erdtree. This all, you know, rings a bell. Sounds familiar. Are these the ruins that teleport you, by chance? I can't remember what the ones that teleport you are called. Is it the waypoint ruins? It might be. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like access to my map again, Miyazaki. Wonderful. This dog looks like mist and like a wood, possibly. It is like vaguely somewhere this way. Yeah, yeah look, look, look. There, it's, it's, there's woods and there's mist and there's a spirit spray. Wonderful. Yeah, this must be the mist wood. I see, I see, I see no two ways about it. And uh, the Shifra River well is like vaguely here also. I guess we can get this map fragment real quick while we're here. It is right next to us, basically. Are these the ruins that top? No, these are ruins. Are these the ruins where Bloody usually is? Hmm, hate that. Mistwood ruins, well, that's good. We're definitely in the right place. Uh Yup, yup, sure is that that sure was a goddamn room there. 
That's fine. There is our map fragments. More room bears. You know, you just, you, you're just you just scratching, right? You don't care about me. I'm just like a guy. Uh, I, I, oh man, I'm just a guy. I promise. I'm just a guy. This guy whose horse won't pick up the goddamn map. There you go. Uh, Why am I in combat? It's not real. Don't lie to me, Miyazaki. Oh, wonderful. I just walked my way into it accidentally. Incredible. Oh no, we can go up, uh, if we have two stone sword keys, we can go up to Kaled uh, at the end of the, the river well, actually. This is perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. It's like Miyazaki planned this out. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't even have to find the teleporting chest, right? We can just go straight up. This works out uh, gangbusters, as the kids would say. I believe is the correct terminology there. It's a long ride down the Shifra Vader here, but that's okay. No issues with that whatsoever. You get to sit here and just reflect. This is such a cool, like, goddamn, there's Nakron above us too, right? It's such a cool uh, little reveal here, right? Of this area. Okay, the, the problem is I don't think we can use Torrent in Shifra, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, no, we can? I think we can. I might just be coping, though, so I want to go through this faster, but I... I have a memory of riding Torrent along uh, in, like, the area where you're lighting all the braziers up. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm coping. Let's get this. Because this will be useful for us. We have to go... Actually, not this one, I guess. One of them will be. To go talk to Bloody again. Uh, we can use Torrent. Wonderful. This is great news. Again, we'll take just a really long time to walk around here without him. So this is wonderful. Uh, I just want to get, like, sort of out into uh, the sort of the main area here as fast as I can. Don't mind me there, fellas. Just running past these ruins, running past everything. Yah, 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 Torrent. Let's get a goddamn move on here, brother. Another elevator. Where, okay, you can't choose them in the elevators. No, no shoes on, no shoes on inside the house. I see how it is. That's fine. Understandable. A new map has been found, Limgrave East, indeed. And then Bloody is, is standing over by the Spirit Spring, right? Is where we have to talk to him. Let's just get the, uh, the grace there first, too. Excuse me. My loyal steed. Thank you. And then we go to talk to Selvis, then we go talk to Bloody again, and then we take the elevator up on the other side of this place to get to uh, Nakron, right? I think we need two stone or to get to Kaled, rather. I think we need two stone sword keys. Um, there's a grace right here. This is the one that I'm thinking of. Bloody is right over there. We'll go talk to him. Um, I, I think the, the Kaled one needs uh, two stone sword keys, and I think we only have one? Or did I buy another one off of the... I only have one, yes. Yeah, so I have to go buy another one off the Twid Maiden Husks. Luckily, you have just enough money to do so. So that's good news. Let's go talk to Bloody first, though. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Hello? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that. Why not? There he is. The big wolfman. Hello, wolfman. There's a uh, very angry ancestral followers here, Bloody. Try not to let them scare you too much. All right, hello, Wolfman. Yeah, I know you got Nokron's right above you. You have no idea how to get there. That's that's fair. All right, yes, now I go talk to Selvus. Uh-huh. Yeah, Selvus really gives a straight answer. That's fine. Okay, so now let us teleport if I, if I would be allowed to do such a thing. I'd like to keep these runes if I can. These are my stone sword key buying runes. I just want access to my map, Miyazaki, if you would be so kind. Oh, dude, okay. Uh, you know, you know, you know, do I have any golden runes on me? Be honest. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, it's fine, Miyazaki. You, uh, you win this one. You do. Oh, my map. Wait, never mind. I got my map back. I was about to, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's, let's go here for a sec, buy a stone sword key. Let me go talk to Selvis, and then the Radon Festival is open once you talk to Blade again, I think, right? So that's, that's, uh, it's not that bad of time, all things considered. Again, I'm certain there's a quicker way to open up the Radon Festival than what I just did, but uh, it's not the worst in the world. It took us all of, you know, probably 30 minutes or something altogether. Uh, they do... Oh, it's 4,000. Okay, okay. Let's pop one real quick, like. Golden Rune 3. Wonderful. I think, again, I think that elevator that goes up to Kaled requires uh, two. Two Stone Sword Keys, and we only have the one. There you go. Uh, I guess, sure, I don't, I don't care, really, but fine. All right, now we go back to Rani's Rise. Let me go talk to Selvis. 
and we are big chillin' from that point onwards. Celibus is sitting in his old rise down there. Uh, yeah, this one down here, vaguely. Oh, incredible parkour, as always, me. Good job. Celibus will say something vaguely annoying that makes you want to rip his head off, but that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Dude, dude, shut the hell up. I'll accept the task. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I hate you. Uh, ask about Nokron. There you go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, I have to go find Selen. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, where the hell is Selen? Uh, is it the Selvis introduction? I forgot about this part. The constant of the scroll cannot be discerned. Oh, where the hell is Selen, man? I don't remember. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we can we can figure this out. Selen. Sorceress Selen, indeed. The Waypoint Ruins in the central east part of, of, uh, of Limgrave. The Waypoint Ruins found there on the map. I believe I have... Oh, I've already passed by these. Damn it, would have been nice to pick up that grace that I, uh, that I ignored earlier, huh? Okay. Fine, fine, we go talk to Selen. Selen tells us about Radon. We go talk to Bloody, and then we go kill Radon. I, I, it's fine, it's fine. This is all okay. We are still possibly on, at this point we basically have to like first or second try Radon realistically, but I could do that. There's a world. There's a world. Yes, yes. You know, I, I really don't need these graces anymore at this point, but like I've learned my lesson, it's okay. It's, it takes what, an extra second, a couple seconds? It's like one, one thousand, two, one thousand. It's like five seconds there to activate that grace. It's really not uh, the end of the world. All right. I'm sorry, Bok. I thought that was him. I'm sorry, Bok. You'll have to, you'll have to go, go it alone for the rest of your miserable life, actually, because I'm never coming back for you. Sorry. That's, uh, I, I do like you. I liked you a lot in the previous campaign. You were my, my royal seamster. But, uh, yeah, not this time, sorry. Okay, down in the Waypoint Ruins, we find Selen. I want to be where the people are. Hello, big giant men. Don't mind me, I will not be raiding your caravan this time, despite numerous other experiences of me doing exactly that. And the staircase here is by this flower. Yeah, here it is. Wonderful. Down to Selen we go. There's a boss fight here first? Oh... Hello, Pumpkinhead. Get out of my way, Pumpkinhead. Please. I don't have time for you. Luckily, you are very weak. Exceedingly so. Good news. Great news, dude. Alright, cool. Wonderful. And... What a sight for sore eyes you are, man. Uh... No, no, I don't care at all, actually, about that. I... Uh, still want to learn, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show letter of introduction. There you go. General Radon. Wonderful. Okay, thank you. And now, we go back, we talk to Bloody here on the Shifa Riverbank, and then we go up the up the elevator to Kaled. And everything is just hunky-dory from there, and then it's a matter of getting to Radon, and then killing Radon. Which shouldn't be the hardest things in the world. Radon's gonna hit us really hard. Um, he might one-shot us, for real. I'm not entirely certain, to be honest with you. Like it might, uh, it might be a little bit tough to uh, to, to, to kill Radon, but we will see. We will, we will certainly try at least and see how far we can get. If we, if we're like, if the only thing keeping us from one great rune episode is like the boss fight, then we could, you know, we can kill Radon and then get to Lane Dell and kill Morgoth in the same episode, maybe, and then it'll be three for three or something. It's not that bad. Tell someone story. Yeah. Uh huh. A festival. No, I got you. Investigating the festival of Radon. Yeah. Sure. Red Main Castle. We fight Sword and Fang. Okay. Cool. Yes. Perfect. So, now we go all the way to the end of Shifra here, where there is an elevator that will take us up. Dude, there's a teleporter that gets us there quicker. No. There's a teleporter that gets us to the other end of here. I just can't, for the life of me, remember where it is. And there's this teleporter that takes us up to the Dragonkin Soldier, I think? There's one here, but I don't think this is the right one. Excuse me, sir. And or madam, I don't know. I don't think you're the right one for me, unfortunately. 
Maybe it's, maybe it would have been quicker to just walk. I think this is the one that takes you up to Dragonkin. To be completely honest with you. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. There's no uh, safe way down here, is there? Maybe. No. You, you can go. You can go off this way. You can go off this way. You can walk off of here, and then yeah, drop drop down the rest of the way. This is still this is still you know made us some forward progress towards the other end of Shifra. So it's not the teleporter I wanted, but it's it's it can still work. It certainly can still work. We just drop off of here, if I remember correctly, and there is land here. Yes, indeed, wonderful. Yeah, and then there's the elevator right there. Actually, yeah, actually, you know what? This this uh, this worked out pretty well. We can get another flask on the way too. Great, make us a little bit tankier. Though again, I, Radon really might be uh, a bit of a one-shot machine for us, so it might be a, uh, you know, at least at least with like his big sword swings and things like that, right? Some of Radon's moves will certainly one-shot us. The question is, will all of them one-shot us? Right, is, is what I want to know. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You're great archers, all of you, I'm certain. But I simply just do not have the time for your nonsense. I am deeply afraid. Clarifying Horn Charm. Does it need two? Yeah, it does. Okay, good thing I took the detour there. One and two. And here we go up to hell. Um, hmm. I'm starting to wonder if, we, if we'll be able to kill Radon in the next, like, 15 minutes, right? Roughly. Which is about how much time I'll give myself. I want to go... I don't want to make, like, a three-hour episode and say, ha, 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 one great room per episode, right? But, you know, an extra five minutes or something, that could that could be okay. But I do wonder. It's going to be... We're going to have to have uh, quite the performance at Radon to make this work out the way we might want. There's a teleporter into Redmain Castle is the other problem. Okay, so here we are in Kaled. We're going to go roughly in this direction. We want to go south because uh, Redmain Castle is basically as southeast as it gets, right? Here we are in Hell. Hello, Hell. Uh, uh, that, that thing that I just marked is four, right? Yeah, so let's let's go in this direction. That way over there leads to the Colosseum, which is not something we have much interest in. I think this way leads us out eventually. There sure is a rune bear here. I'm, could you not, 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 okay, okay. Uh, oh wait, no, this is the place where it's like, uh, it's the haha -ha funny, right? No, I think, I think we can, I think we can, I think we can get down on this crystal, maybe? No, we're dead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, at least we got the grace. Yeah, I, I guess there is not a safe way down there. We do have to go around through the Coliseum. Stake of America? What? Maybe there is a, maybe, maybe I can kind of cheat my way down here with a stake. If the Stake of America was down there, we will... Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Onwards and southwards. Glorious. Swamp of Aeonia. Truly nightmarish stuff, but oh, oh. Anastasia is going to invade us here, which I don't want to deal with. I think she invades near the middle of the lake. I don't know. I'm keeping myself around the edges because I think that's that just feels safer in general. I just don't want to fight her. It's, it's, it's an unnecessary delay. I mean, I, I guess I could run out of the swamp until she despawns or something. Please, no invade. Uh, this, is, this is a good grace to get, probably. Caleb is a place where just a lot of di a lot of dying really might be uh, in our future, so we have to get as many checkpoints as we can. All right, head up here, Caleb indeed. Get the map fragment, and that's also vaguely taking us in the direction of Redmain Castle. From where the map fragment is, we just go east. I'm uh, pretty sure, and then Redmain is not too far away from all that. Golden Rune three, fine. If I could pop some golden runes to get a little bit more vigor, that really might be a difference maker for us, right? Because Adula was almost one-shotting us, and I have to imagine Radon hits just a little bit harder than Adula, right? right there's the Kale here. There's a Grace nearby here also. I, I remember this much. I think so, anyway. In worst case, it's a Grace near... Uh, how many golden runes do I have? I got a lot. Okay, I can probably get at least one level. I hope. Redman Castle is, yeah, right around here, right? So let's, let's unmark this, and let's go towards five. Which I suppose, actually, yeah, we do go we do go off this little branching road here. Let's do that. I hate these things. Yep, certainly one of the worst enemies in the video game. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's, just a, there's a teleporter somewhere here that, uh, that takes us in there, if I remember correctly. I just can't, for the life of me, remember where said teleporter is, and I don't want to get to the... 
I mean, would I, would I rather have the rotten strays or this bird on my tail? Honestly, neither. But if so, I'm gonna try and thread the needle there. Well, the one bird is still chasing me, which I find, honestly, uh, quite offensive. But there's no accounting for manners, I suppose. There's a grace here, which is great news. Um, and there's a teleporter. Okay, wonderful. Let's activate this grace real quick, and let's head into red main. And, you know, we're, we've got essentially ten minutes, call it eight minutes, to kill Radon. That's, the, if, uh, that could be like three, four, five good tries, something like that. Or like... 10 bad tries and the one where we win? It could be, could be. You never know. Here we go. Champions one and all. You know you know how we get down in these parts. There's a grace here, which is great. Okay, so this is, this is our, sort of our last check here for uh, how, how how much do we need to level up at this point? 7,000? Uh, we, okay, we can double check how many runes these all give us, right? 1,600. So that's 30. That's 2,400. That's 4,000 total. That's 5,600. That is 6,400. We don't have enough. Yeah, we can't level up here off of just our golden runes. Okay, cool. Well, it makes my decision, makes my life easier. I just, well, not easier, but it makes my life more straightforward, at least. We we discharge in and we try to kill Radon with our current vigor and, and hope that, I guess, we're not just getting one shot left and right, but it's possible that we certainly are. There's some fellows right there. There's Bloody right there. Hi, Bloody. Champions, yes, yes. Champions, one and all. I see you. Indeed, indeed. Hey, uh, hello. Yeah, no, I know. We're gonna get the little cutscene for Radon. I got gotcha. you. Uh, there's not like a golden rune anywhere nearby here, is there? I think there's a somber stone down there. There's an item down here, but I think I think you're a somber something, like a somber six or something like that. Five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Not a golden rune, unfortunately for me. Uh, we can we can see. If the first thing Radon does is like one shot us with like a half ass attack, uh, we might get we might like go to the round table, sell some stuff, and get a little bit more vigor. You aren't the golden rune, are you? Smithing stone six. Goddamn. Uh, a little bit ahead of uh, a little bit ahead of uh, my curve there. A bit rich for my blood, I must admit. But hopefully it's fine. There is an argument, by the way, to just like could just head down to Lyurnia and kill Renala for the second Great Rune, but again, we also do want to just kill Radon to get to Nakron to get the, uh, the occult stuff on our weapons, right? It's gonna make our katana just a lot more deadly in general. Uh, okay, sure, let's, uh, let's do this. I guess we could summon for it too, but again, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I just, I just, I just want, I want to do it to the way that I find the most enjoyable, so I will not be doing that. Okay, yup. Uh-huh. Sure. I see. I see you, Radon. It's gonna be tough, I think. Like, uh, there, there's a. I, I'm very much like willing uh, and able to believe in the fact that we might just not get this. I, th I don't. I don't think it's gonna be very easy to to kill Radon with our current setup here, especially when it starts like that. That's unfortunate. I mean, yeah. I mean, being at full health is gonna be mandatory here. I just can't imagine that we can uh, easily tank his hits without. Even if if we can take any hits at all, they're going to require us basically being at full health, right? Okay, don't get camera souls too hard. It's good damage. It is good damage. Especially, I mean, we haven't even bleed proc'd him yet, right? This is, this is, we're, our damage is not the problem. I can't see what's happening. That's fine. Hello, Radon. This doesn't hit me. Yeah, you're a big stupid idiot and you're way too large. For your own good, that one would have hit me. So would that one. So would this one. Actually, no, that one would. Cool. One, two, three. And you're, oh, nice. I was going to say, can you bleed already, dude? And he luckily did exactly that. That is a, uh, yeah. That is certainly quite the casual attack to just one-shot us, right? That's unfortunate, for sure. Like, that is a that is a sad realization there. I guess, I guess I mean, it is like a slam down. Like, man, I don't know. Like, maybe we could survive, like, some of the other sword swings, but not that one. Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah, but we are, yeah. We are not very tanky, uh, for sure. That is, that is not something that we are going to be experiencing the joys of. Man, okay. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's tough. That's a, that's a rude awakening there. We might not kill Radon in this episode. We'll see. I'll do my best. But uh, we might not be able to kill him in the next, like, you know, two or three attempts or something. Which is roughly the time limit that we have before we're out of time for today. I mean, we're making good progress, though. Regardless, even if we don't kill him here. Okay. Get real close to him here. Avoid the shotgun. Badly, but it's fine. Yeah, so full health, obviously. We have been made very aware that full health is mandatory for this fight if we're going to survive anything. 
It'll be because we have full health. Okay, hey, that's good. That's actually very... Okay, we I did panic roll there. That's good. So, yeah, like, random little slashes don't actually one-shot us. That actually is... That is more... Uh, that is more auspicious, right? Um, I guess that slam is a bit more... A bit heavier of an attack than I gave it credit for. I was kind of thinking, like, it's, like, this weird, like, throwaway attack. It's not even, like, a sword swing. But he is, like, slamming his swords down into the ground. That's fair. That's fair. That I mean, that is that is a good sign. The problem with Verdon in particular is every attempt it just, like, takes so long to start up. Even even if we die, like, right away, once we get to him, we still have, like, a good 30, 45 second run up to him just on the horse as he's shooting at us here. Which is a problem. And that's a one shot. Hey, on the bright side, hey, uh, every attempt doesn't take that long if you just if you just die to the arrow. I've been trying to, I, I, I went to, I didn't go horizontal enough. Right? I was trying to cheat out some more, like, towards him velocity. But, uh, but no. I gotta be a little, I gotta, I gotta remember, you gotta be horizontal to be able to strafe those arrows a little bit better. You can use, like, torrent, you can use the, the iframes of getting off of torrent for that too, but at that point, is that even, like, really faster? Maybe, maybe, I, I don't think so, though. Alright, alright. I mean, that was, I mean, to be fair, that was all of 30 seconds that we lost, uh, we lost there, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's say a little bit more horizontal here. Yep. To strafe the arrow properly. Kinda wanna dash right as the arrow is coming at us, too. Yep. So we can get, we can... Last second, once he's already fired it, change our trajectory a bit. This is a good time to just come right at him, not the shotgun. But now, so he doesn't shoot again. Wonderful. I just gotta outlast this, this rain of arrows. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. I see you. I'm gonna hop in right here on Torrent. This attack can actually hit us. That's unfortunate. The more attacks he does that just, like, don't work, the better. Oh, thank God for slopes, man. That attack hit me uh, by all for all intents and purposes. Keep an eye on him. What is this? Oh, this one. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay, sure. That's like a combo, man. I couldn't... Oh, God. I, have to, I guess I have to roll into him. Yeah, yeah. So, so unfortunate. Okay, I'll listen. I'm going to give us one more try, but we're not getting this, I don't think, unfortunately. Uh, I, I think we, 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 we will kill him next episode, right? But we're not going to get this in, like, record time that we kind of need to right now to, to keep up this, uh, this, this whole, you know... One episode, one great rune streak, which is again an arbitrary thing that I made up in my own head, but it's still it's still nice. Uh, we 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 can maybe try to keep it up in aggregate, right? Like maybe and then maybe not every single episode we got one great rune, but overall, you know, it was, it was three episodes, three great runes. Like if we can kill him and Morgoth in the same episode next time, maybe that's something. But I mean, that's that's a, that's a tall task because both but Morgoth is is uh, not a slouch himself. And we have some setup to do in Altus too. It's probably doomed to be honest with you. Still, oh, Torrent, thank you for tanking that. That uh, leaves me with an extra blast here. This sucks. That sucks. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, that was really quick. One more. One, I, I, I thought this, this that, that one would last like, a little bit longer. You can even get to like 105 or something. Our damage isn't bad. I just have to... I'm just like panicking too much when I get to him. Our damage is actually not like super ass, right? We, we, we hurt him quite a lot when we hit him. We just have to hit him. <laughs> Instead of just dying the first, uh, as the first thing we do every time we get close to him. I gotta have a little bit more confidence in, uh, in what, I'm, what I'm swanging around here. Let's run up every time, man. It's brutal. Okay, strafe that. Wonderful. Strafe that. He's gonna do Rain of Arrows now, indeed. Let's try to get to him before he shotguns even once, maybe? No, no, he's certainly gonna shotgun. We're even closer to him now, so it's the worst case scenario. Yep. Outlive this rain of arrows and go and try to start beating on Radon here. This just won't hit me. I'm not afraid. Call me Eminem after I got off the of drugs. This will hit me. Oh man! Hey, good news. Again, not one shot. Though again, yeah, unfortunately, that is a 2S scissor. Max health is essentially mandatory. This won't hit me. Oh, that will though. That certainly will. Okay. Uh, good. This is a 1S scissor. This is the good news. Yep. Uh-huh. Right. Gotcha. Good stomp. Bleed proc is wonderful. We love to see that. Okay, this is where he slammed us down and almost killed us last time. This is sort of the, the phase 1.5 transition here. Oh, this is the big one. Yep. Just get behind him and start wailing on him. It's a huge window. Do exactly that. As he slams down like a fool. He's not gonna jump up just yet. Let's try and get our flasks going. This is mildly problematic for sure. We're alive? I mean, we're... This is so cursed, right? But we are... Yeah, yeah. I, I rolled too early there. 
Uh, I can't believe we lived that, though. Okay, honestly, you know what? Our Vigor is kind of okay. But that, that was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. We almost got him to phase two there. Uh, I think we very easily could, for sure, but it is not happening today. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We, we're still making great progress here. I think we're probably on track to get, probably get this whole thing done in, like, what, 10 episodes? Less? Something like that? Which is, I mean, to be fair, it's about the, it's about the amount of time we have until the DLC comes out at this point, so I'll take that. But uh, yeah, for now, that is gonna do it, I suppose. I have, to sit, I have to stand here and, you know, just cross my arms and be like, okay, I have other things to do. I can't just, you know, bash my head against Radon forever here. So uh, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this attempt for me to just kind of get through the game a little bit quicker here. I mean, again, the fact that we're not so overleveled over when we fight every single main boss means I do have to learn their patterns a little bit more, which is, that's fun. Uh, but yeah. As always, if you made it this far in the video, I got some things for you before you go here. Uh, yeah, obviously, regular YouTube stuff, you know, the like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that will be very, very appreciated, right? It does help. It does make a difference. That's why I ask. The bell could also be good for you. Right? I put a lot of content every every day, so if you want to stay update, up to date, the bell could help with that. Uh, besides that, though, uh, you can also just look at the description for you to join the Discord server. I think you'll have a good time if you do so. It's a nice community for you to hang out, talk about Elden Ring, fighting games, gotcha games, card games, music, art, whatever the hell you want. Uh, just be nice, I'll ban you. And also, there's another link down there for you to join uh, and, and come watch my, my Twitch streams, which happen twice a week for now. I might do more over time, but for now, it's twice a week. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, I think you have a good time if you if you come hang out. Otherwise, if you want to drop a follow or something like that, I would appreciate that greatly. But most importantly, more important than any of this other stuff, I hope you guys had a great time hanging out today. As always, I know I sure did. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun, man. Just go through. And this Radon fight is going to be a nice little challenge here because we can't really make that many mistakes, which is uh, it feels good. to just and We by the by a good portion into the middle of like our strength run, we were just kind of being very ignorant and we could just get hit and didn't matter. We had so much health, we were so tanky, right? And we did so much damage. So it's nice to be able to have to actually respect the bosses and like learn their patterns and like that. It's just a, good, a big reason why I play these video games. So uh, for now though, that is going to do it. So having a lot of fun with Elden Ring is going to be a lot more coming your way, but until then I will see you in the next one. Peace.